Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and right now there is a developer conference going on called Oculus Connect. This is the fifth one, thus called OC5, and it's where Oculus generally announces their new hardware, and today they announced something completely new, Oculus Quest. And I don't normally talk too much about VR here because... Well, it was kind of a dud, to be honest. I did three or four videos about getting started with VR. I've bought already a Daydream VR, a Gear VR, and a Microsoft Mixed Reality headset. And I think for a variety of reasons, they just don't work. The biggest reason why I haven't bought an HTC Vive or a Oculus Rift is the setup. I don't want to dedicate a room to these things. I don't want to have tracking stations and stuff like this. And that is where this new headset really kind of shines. It's the Oculus Quest. And the whole idea behind the Oculus Quest is, well, basically, this is just like a wireless version of Microsoft's Mixed Reality headset. It uses inside-out tracking. There's a bunch of cameras in the headset that zoom out. Um... And basically, it tracks and positions your room by shooting these rays out from the headset, as opposed to needing uh, base stations that are in the room. Now, what this is important for is it means you can just take this headset anywhere, put it on someone's head, and it'll calibrate in that space. So there's no long setup process. There's no dedicated workspace requirement. This just works, and it is fully wireless. Now, the details for this guy are actually a bit scarce right now. All we know is it is going to be $399 US in theory, and it is coming in spring of 2019. But this guy hits all of the requirements I think VR really need to succeed. It needs to be an all-in-one unit. That way, people without high-end gaming machines uh, can just basically pick one up and buy it as a product. It needs to be wireless. It needs to be an easy experience. No calibration required for every person that uh, throws it on. And I got to say, even from my own experience, from tossing a headset on someone's head, the Gear VR was the best experience of them all because it was the easiest of them all. Now, by no means is it a great experience. There's a lot of limitations. And that might kind of lead you back to, hey, wait a minute, didn't Oculus already release a wireless headset? And yes, they did. It was called the Oculus Go. And it was basically just a Gear VR, but you didn't need the phone. They took all of like, the processing logic and the screen from a phone and a battery and basically built a headset out of it. So it's not quite the same thing we're dealing with here. Where this is better is this comes first off with two wireless controls like you would get from a full Oculus Rift. Um, and I gotta tell you, from using the uh, headsets for my Microsoft Mixed VR, uh, the headsets make all the difference in the world when you're dealing with room-scale VR. Uh, but on top of that, this is a six degree of freedom headset. Because of that inside out tracking, it, it can, um, your movement as you move up and down, left and right, turning around, that is all tracked. Whereas on the uh, Gear VR, it can really just tell your head position and nothing really else. You, you can't really tilt and dodge and that kind of stuff. So you're getting full six degrees of freedom tracking on this new Oculus Quest. Is this going to be the, the VR headset that actually makes VR popular? Hard to say. I still think $399 is too much for a mass market product. It's basically going to have to compete with consoles straight out. And then here's where I'm a little cautious on this one. is They announced that it's going to have 50 games when it launches. So this is a new product line. And, and Gear keeps doing So they've got their Gear VR line of games, which has hundreds of games at this point. You have the Oculus Rift, which has hundreds of games at this point, and they are not the same markets. Like, obviously, the one is an Android-based device, and the other one is a full-on uh, Windows machine-powered device. Uh, so where are you in the middle when you're dealing with this new Oculus Quest? And there's where we're missing details. Uh, how fast is this thing? We know it's, uh, I think, 1440 pixels uh, 1440 pixels per eye and that's it so I have no idea how long the battery life is in this thing I have no idea what the processing power of this thing is how much storage there is on this thing I think I saw 64 gigabytes somewhere but I don't I don't buy that that's way too low um so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out when you're looking at that 399 price point they are basically competing with uh Microsoft and uh Sony PlayStation kind of pricing there. Like, do you buy a PlayStation 1X or a, uh, sorry, an Xbox One X or a PlayStation Pro, or do you buy an Oculus headset? And, and that's kind of where they're at pricing wise. Now, if they get it down in that 200 to $300 range, that's more competing with accessories, something like PlayStation VR, for example. So, 
I, I don't know that they're going to get mass market penetration there. And I also know, and the reason why I don't do a whole lot of VRing is it makes me want to vomit my guts out. And so that is still part of the whole VR experience as well. And this isn't going to change that. This is literally just kind of, it's a VR headset that slots in between the Oculus Go and the Oculus Rift. But by judging by that whole 50 games at launch, it is again a new product. So it's not necessarily 100% compatible with the Go, and it's not, or, and, and thus the Gear VR, and it's not 100% compatible with the Rift. So who knows where the store is gonna come from? And then you're kind of at the mercy of the ecosystem that develops around it. Now, of course, from a developer's perspective, if you're using Unreal Engine or Unity or similar, you can probably just target it by flicking a switch. So porting your game is gonna be kind of a no-brainer of that, but, does it have the processing power to do full desktop experiences? And there's one of those challenges when you're working with VR, is you have to maintain a 60 to 90 frame per second frame rate at 1440 times two to not make people want to hold. So there is going to be a need for beefy hardware in there. And then the $399 package, hard to say if it's gonna have it. But you know what, It's they're keeping at it. I would love to see VR take off and become a better and more successful thing than it is. And again, this is the magic formula I think that VR needs to succeed. It needs to be an all-in-one product. It needs to be um, six degrees of freedom. It needs to have those controllers and it needs to be wireless. And so far this ticks off all of those boxes. We just have to see if it ticks off the other boxes. If the performance is there, if the ecosystem is there, uh, then you know what? Oculus might finally have a winner on their hands. But again, they got Facebook money behind them so they can keep trying until they get it right. All right, what do you think? Are you excited about the Oculus Quest? Is VR just kind of, yeah, yeah whatever to you at this point in time? Love to hear your comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.